changing the linear bearings on the gripper. Move the gripper to the maximum position to the very end of the in-feed rail assembly. Next, do a proper lockout and tagout procedure on the machine's main electrical panel. Now locate the panel or disconnect in the plant that supplies the power to the machine and do a proper lockout and tagout procedure on it. This photo is just an example of a disconnect. Disconnect the air supply from the machine. Open the access door on the end of the in-feed rail assembly and also remove the plate at the end. Loosen the bolts on the belt tensioner slide plate clamp and back off the belt tensioner adjusting bolt. Remove the bolts from the belt clamp. With the belt dropped off, you will now be able to move the gripper by hand to the open area and remove the bolts from the bearings and slide them off of the end of the linear rail. Keep the inner plastic ball bearing cover on the new bearings and slide the new bearings onto the linear rail one at a time. The plastic cover will slide out as you slide each bearing on. Discard the covers. Reuse the bolts removed from the old linear bearings to attach the new linear bearings to the gripper frame. You must grease these bearings before putting the machine back in use. Next, reinstall the belt clamp, readjust the belt tensioning bolt, and tighten the bolts on the slide plate clamp. Replace the plate at the end of the in-feed rail assembly. Close the access door on the in-feed rail assembly. Reconnect the air supply to the machine. Reverse the lockout tagout procedure and restart the machine. Calibrate the gripper. For calibration instructions, see the maintenance manual.